recent volcanic eruptions on the island of La Palma and the Canary Islands, has led to some asking what the implications are of such an event. Updates are constantly flooding in from the Canary Islands, with locals and those close to the region fearing that a mega tsunami could hit the US East Coast. Scientists and those that are keeping an eye on the data have said that for the first time since 1971, lava has reached the surface on the island of La Palma at the volcano, leading first responders to evacuate the nearby areas. As of right now, the following has been highlighted. The lava flow has reached over 420 hectares. According to Spain's Department of National Security, more than a thousand buildings have been affected by the lava flow, with 6,000 people being evacuated. Officials have estimated there's already been over 220 million euros worth of damage. Spanish Airlines Binta and Canary Fly have said they've stopped flights and won't be flying over the island, saying that there's currently large ash clouds. The head spokesperson for the emergency response plan said the following. The behaviour of the volcano has been stable for several hours. It's good news for everyone. End quote. Increased earthquakes throughout the area though has led to some asking whether something big is going to happen, namely a mega tsunami that would devastate the nearby areas. Although officials are keeping a close eye on the situation, the worry here is that a large landslide could trigger a massive tsunami. For those unaware, a mega tsunami is a tsunami which is destructive to coastal ecosystems, including town, city, forest, lakes and rivers. They also have devastating effects on the seabed and the seafloor. The United States Geological Survey has said that because there is no major subduction zones in the Atlantic Ocean, there has been a relatively low frequency of tsunamis compared to the Pacific Ocean. They also said the following. In 1946, 1960 and 1964, major tsunamis, giant sea waves usually caused by earthquakes or landslides, struck coastal areas of the Pacific Ocean. End quote. According to the National Weather Service's Tsunami Warning Center in Palmer, Alaska, they've said that there is no threat of a mega tsunami. But what would happen if a mega tsunami was to hit the United States? And could it happen in the near future? What's worrying is that scientists who are conducting tests on glaciers have said that they're melting at an extremely fast rate, and that lots of rocks and mountain stones are starting to become exposed and in some of these places it could cause a landslide to happen. If a large portion of a slope was to give way, it could easily generate a tsunami. Scientists have said that one of these locations where this could happen is that of Barry Glacier in Alaska, and said that if this was to happen the United States could potentially be hit by a mega tsunami. According to the experts, this mega tsunami could hit the United States within the next 12 months but noted that it will probably happen within 20 years. A group of environmental scientists have been vocal about this, and said that we're on borrowed time. They've even penned a letter to the Alaska Department of Natural Resources. The note was to warn authorities about the events that could unfold in the near future. They said the following. We're a group of scientists with expertise in climate change landslides and tsunami hazards, and we've identified an unstable mountain slope above the toe of Barry Glacier in Barry Arms 60 miles east of Anchorage that has the potential to fail and generate a tsunami. This tsunami could impact areas frequented by tourists, fishing vessels and potentially hundreds of people at one time. End quote. Back in 2018, Scientists had warned about the activity on the island of La Palma in the Canary Islands, saying that they are aware of what's going on, and said that a huge landslide could happen, which in turn would generate a massive tsunami in the Atlantic Ocean. They detailed that if this was to happen, the volcano would first crack and split, the steam inside the volcano would have to find an exit, and would in turn push against the volcano wall. This structure wouldn't be able to hold this pressure, 
and entire sections would begin to break off. If this happened, the Atlantic Ocean would start to fill with large rocks, and the subsequent collapse would cause a tsunami across the North Atlantic, reaching as far as North America. Some of the biggest tsunamis had been generated by landslides, and not earthquakes. In fact, researchers said that an entire island was swallowed by a mega tsunami, saying that the waves would have reached heights of over 500 feet. If this was to happen in the modern day, it's estimated that hundreds of thousands of people could potentially lose their lives, and the total damage cost would easily be over $200 billion. Ricardo Ramelo, a geologist at the University of Bristol in England, said the following about these mega tsunamis. These finds provide another line of evidence that volcanic flank collapses really can happen suddenly and trigger giant tsunamis, and so we should not underestimate the hazard potential of these events, that is, the threat they pose to our society. Another study revealed that ancient mega tsunamis reached heights even greater than 500 feet, saying that one study showed them that a wave reached 557 feet. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration have said that coastal regions around the tsunami wouldn't stand a chance, and the waves would come rushing inland. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration said the following, Out in the depths of the ocean, tsunami waves do not dramatically increase in size, but as the waves travel inland, they build up to higher and higher heights as the depth of the ocean decreases. The speed of the tsunami waves depends on ocean depth, rather than the distance from the source of the wave. Tsunami waves may travel as fast as jet planes over deep waters. End quote. So what do you make of these announcements? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow these communities while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.